Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial we will see how to fix this error that Excel source is truncating the 255 characters from the source Excel file. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that we will see like how we can fix the error where the Excel source is truncating the more than 255 characters. So this is one of the common issue with the Excel file that if you are importing the data from the Excel file and if you have more than 255 characters in a column then it might truncate the data. So we will see how we can fix this particular issue and how we can import all data from a particular excel file from a specific column. So without wasting further time let's jump to the demo. So in my d files location I got a file email.xlsx and if I show you the data in this particular excel file so it contains like id, first name, last name, email, gender and the comment column. So the most important column for this particular video is the comment column and if you look at the id number 10 and if I copy this particular uh, value from here okay and if I paste it here so for example right now if I select all the characters from here then inside the cell you can see the length of it like 297 so it means that we have 297 characters in this particular string and the SSIS might truncate the characters after the 255 characters okay so that's one of the issue with the excel file so let me close this particular excel file okay so now let's open the ssis package so this is my basic ssis package where i'm using a data flow task and in the data flow task i'm using a excel source and in the excel source we are actually importing the data from the email.xlsx file and we are writing the data into the email table so if I show you the data in the email table, so right now the email table is empty. It doesn't contain any data. Okay. So we will be importing the data into the email table from the Excel file. So we have not done any kind of configuration. There are no expressions, nothing. Okay. It's a very straightforward data flow task. So let me try to execute the SSIS package and let's see how it will behave when we will import the data to the SQL server table. So the package ran fine. And now let me go back to the SQL Server Management Studio and let me execute the select statement from here. So it seems like it has imported all 100 records into the SQL Server table, email table. Now let me copy the uh, comment for the ID number 10 from here. Okay. And now let me paste it here. So if I paste it here, then you can see that it has not imported the data, all data into the SQL Server table. For example, if I select these two lines then you can see the cell length is 255 it means that it has imported only 255 characters into the sql server and rest of the characters got truncated okay so this was the issue and this is one of the known issue with the ssis okay uh, especially loading the data from the excel source so now how we can fix it okay so that's the main question here we have two solutions and I'm going to talk about the first solution which is one of the best solution okay the second one is that we can use the uh, C sharp code to import the data but for C sharp code you need to write some code and maybe uh, in another video I will talk about that but for now we just need to make some changes into the registry entry okay and making the changes into the registry we will be able to import the data all data correctly into the SQL Server table. So what changes we need to make into the registry? So let me show you. So what actually happens that uh, in the SSIS, when the SSIS tries to import the data from the Excel file, so it actually scans the first eight rows from the Excel file and it tries to find the max length of each row. For example, if it is going to import the data from the comment column, then it will try to scan the first eight rows for the comment and if it won't find a very lengthy comment then you know it will skip the data so uh, what we need to do is that these are the two locations especially this one and the this one they are very important here we are using like 14.0 but you can also check for like 15.0 and 16.0 as well if the 14.0 does not works okay so we need to change the registry key like type guess rows from a to zero okay and this we can look at these two locations okay so how we can open the registry we can write reg edit okay 
and then open it yes so the first one is this one like h key local machine then software so h key local machine software and then wow 6432 node so we can expand this one wow 6432 node then microsoft okay uh microsoft this one and then jet so you can go to the jet here this one and after jet 4.0 and then after 4.0 engines okay and after engines excel now in the excel you need to change this one type guess rows so if you see here if you right click and modify so the default value is 8 so you need to change it to 0 and then you can click okay so the first one this is done now you need to check the uh, second one as well okay so the second one is this one like h key local machine one second let me go back here h key local machine then software then wow 6432 node okay and then microsoft so this is fine and now inside the microsoft we need to go to office so instead of jet we need to go to office and then here we have like 12.0 as well but inside the 12.0 we don't have the access connectivity engine so we can check 14.0 so inside the 14.0 we have the access connectivity engine so we can expand the access connectivity engine then you will get the engines here and now inside the engines uh, there is an excel here so inside the engine we actually need to change the type guess rows from 8 to 0 so you can right click modify change it from 8 to 0 then click okay and now you can close this one so these are the two things that we have done okay uh, i can actually uh, copy this one and paste it here as well okay yeah and i will paste this one in the description as well so now we have changed the settings in the registry now we can open the ssis package again okay and then what we need to do right click and edit the excel source so now it is saying that it is going to change the metadata of the excel source so we can say yes and click okay now you can right click on it go to show advanced editor input and output properties uh, click on the excel source output click on the output columns and click on the comment so in the comment it has set a uh, unicode text stream so it has selected this data type so i think that's fine if it is selected this data type otherwise you can also use the uh, unicode string okay and the length you can set as 4000 4000 length is good okay so either you can check uh, use the the one the default one that got changed otherwise you can use the unicode string like n worker 4000 this is also good so i can use this one now click okay so yeah so that's the only change that you need to go to the show advanced editor and then go to input output go to excel source output go to output columns and then increase the length of this particular column okay so that's the only change and let me see if we have the data here yeah so we have the data so let me truncate the email table so now the email table is empty and now you can rerun the ssis package so this time it should import data all data from the comment like it should not truncate any string so the package ran fine and now let me rerun the select statement okay so it has loaded all 100 records again now let me copy this particular uh, value again from here and paste the value here so now you can see that now it imported all data from the excel file and it has not truncated the data after 255 characters yes so i think this is one of the best fix for this particular thing and i will actually uh, put this particular thing in the description of the video so that you can just check this particular thing so if you got any question then you can comment on the video yes so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time we upload a new video thank you so much